Today I'm going to be talking about showers, baths, however you want to call it, okay? And like dysphoria and whatnot. So when I first came out, I was like, like trying to be a um, super mask, so I like quotes needed, <laughs> needed. So I was like using axe for everything, <laughs> everything that I just want for the shower because I was just like, not like a dude. Dude, so that's how I kind of coped with my, um, fragile masculinity back then. <laughs> then, and, um, um, when I, um, then when I grew, um, I was, like, as I transitioned more and more, I became more comfortable with different types, so, um, I tried different, different types of shampoo, body wash, whatnot, not so, um, I've gotten so comfortable that I literally use sweet pea and violet. It smells lovely. Yes, I know it's a body wash. But that thing smells lovely to me. Me and I have absolutely no problem using that every day. Day so. So as you um just go continue with um so you might be able to transgress from the super masculine <laughs> quotes in the end. And smell like a the typical boy smell of axe to something that you may like actually like the smell of more. More that's more flowery or whatever you want. I don't care. Okay, so, um, another thing was, um, for showers was dysphoria, like, top dysphoria. Dysphoria, what I used to do was just literally just shower with my eyes closed. Closed to help that, um, what you can also do is just turn off the lights. Lights and just do your, um, shower or bathing, whatever you do. No judging. Judging, so just, um, just close your eyes and try and ignore it, just, like, lift or whatever, depending on what size you are. Or to what you'd have to do to your body and all that stuff so so there's that and um you should honestly learn to spoil yourself a little bit in the bath bath because it's your own private time private time away from other people so it's just a little bit of your own space so use some um <laughs> um treat yourself a bit but maybe um do a um scrub in the shower or whatever you want to do. do depending on what your likes and dislikes are maybe um if you have a tub tub use put a bath bomb in it once in a while well good just soak in the tub with a bath bomb maybe i don't know it's up to you and what type of tub you um shower or tub you have have so yeah so my advice would be i'm um, just um unfortunately there's not much good advice for shower dysphoria but the only one I know of would was closing my eyes eyes because then you don't have to see anything anything that you're just um having to do do so it's just kind of like a motor neuron I guess I don't know automatic response response of how you're supposed to clean yourself and you don't have to visualize it you have you don't have to physically see it which might help your dysphoria a little bit more more so yeah hopefully um as the um, everyone's transition goes farther and farther. They don't need to be super masculine. Masculine, if you want to be super masculine, like super masculine in the shower, or whatever, go for it. I don't care. This is up to you. But I was just saying that I got back in touch with a little bit more of a mm, uh, lovely smell. No, which is this is what I find lovely smelling. And so everyone's different, different. So um, may have to experiment a little bit. Um. If you go to your store, just open it up and just squeeze a tiny bit, tiny bit, and then you can just get a, a bit of a smell of it, smell of it before, so then you can kind of get an idea of what you want. Yeah, so that's, um, tips and shower stuff, and I'm sorry about the beginning, I just had to. Dude, the entire time when I thought of it, I was literally thinking of Psycho, which I should probably watch. I don't know if I'm going to have watched it by then, but I, pretty much everyone knows the shower scene, let's just... Face it, the shower scene is a classic. So, I'm sorry.